Hi there, I'm Matt Sizemore with the six on your side news update. If you live in Ada County, the sheriff says you're being taken for millions of dollars a year by the very state you live in, and now he's suing on your behalf. Sheriff Steve Bartlett says dozens of prisoners in the Ada County Jail are supposed to be housed by the Department of Correction. Bartlett says he decided to sue after Ada County failed its jail inspection for the third year in a row solely because of overcrowding. A 1991 court ruling requires the state to move inmates to IDOC within seven days of conviction. Military families can enjoy a little holiday fun tonight all for free. It's Military Family Night at the Idaho Botanical Gardens Winter Garden Aglow. The night is free for military members, families, veterans, and retirees with a valid military ID or proof of service. Military Family Night is from 6 to 9 at the Garden. And the countdown is on to donate to this year's Toys for Tots drive. Six on your side is teaming up with Albertsons, Blue Cross of Idaho, the Marines, and your local Toyota dealers for the annual campaign. All you have to do is drop off a new unwrapped toy at any Albertsons store. You can find more at sixonyourside.com. All right, time now for checking the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau is uh, standing by with what to expect. Hey, Rachel. Hey there, Matt. Well, the countdown is also already on to when wet weather will return to southwest Idaho. It's not far away. It won't happen today. Your Tuesday is actually looking pretty good. We'll have a barely there breeze, mostly sunny skies by this afternoon, and high temperatures maybe not quite as mild as yesterday, but still pretty pleasant for this point in December. We'll call it low to mid 40s across the Treasure Valley. There is active weather lurking off the west coast, so it will make it self known early tomorrow morning. The first round anyway, we may see some light, light snow in the Treasure Valley, not looking at anything in the way of accumulation necessarily, but it might slow you just a little bit on your Wednesday morning commute and during the day tomorrow, maybe an inch or so for our mountain uh, areas. Now Thursday's storm system. This is the more significant in our one two punch of precipitation. This will be a more soaking rain for the valley. We don't expect snow below about 4000 feet on Thursday. That will be snow in the mountains. So if you're headed up in elevation or you live in our mountain communities, expect a wintry time of it Thursday into Friday. That's when the rain will uh, linger and start, start finally fading down in the Treasure Valley Friday night. Slight chance of shower sticks around Saturday. Temperatures start dropping over the weekend as well. In fact, by Sunday, we'll see those highs back down into just the upper 30s. Remember, for your very latest news and weather headlines, you can always visit 6onyourside.com.